obviously if we did uh, prisms and cylinders yesterday, we're doing pyramids and cones today. A um, couple of uh, extra terms to talk about here, because remember, it's the area of the surfaces. So we don't want to get mixed up with height uh, between the tip of the pyramid and the base of the pyramid and the height of the faces, which is what we want to find. So you're going to see this term again, slant height. Slant height is uh, the, along the lateral surface or along that face there. A um, couple of other terms here. Regular pyramid is just like a, a, regular, a regular polygon. Um, it, it basically, it has for its base a regular polygon. So, And then a, a right cone is one that's straight up and down rather than slanted to the side. So a non-right cone would be one that looks like this. Okay, um, kind of a, like a wizard's hat or something like that. Uh, it's kind of a goofy thing to, to calculate. We're gonna focus mainly on just right cones for our discussion and regular pyramids for our discussion. Although you certainly don't have to have a regular pyramid. Um, so you'll notice a couple things when we spread these out. For pyramids, every time you open these up, and I can sh I'll show you this to you tomorrow. Every time we open these up, we end up with the base, whatever shape that is, and triangles. So if this had an octagon for its base, I'd have an octagon on the base and eight triangles. If it were a pentagonal pyramid, it'd have a pentagon, and then it would have uh, five triangles. If it were a triangular pyramid, it would have a triangle for its base and three triangles for its sides. But basically, all we are doing here is we're finding the area of the base and adding the area of each of those sides, okay? Which you'll notice here, there's only one base. Notice how that's different from uh, volume of prism or surface area of prisms. Pyramids, you don't multiply by two because there's only one of them. Um, and then the area of the faces is just, uh, just that. So we'll call this uh, F is lateral face, lateral faces. Uh, real hard time on this side of the board. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the cones is a little bit more difficult. Okay. Because when we open up this curved shape right here, obviously we're going to have the circle on the bottom, we get a semicircle. Now, the semicircle is a specific formula which we're going to just have to use. This four here, you'll notice, is this distance down the side. So, the way we calculate that, we're going to use this right here which is the area of the base, plus this part right here is this semicircle. Pi times radius times this side right here. So you notice, if it were a, a cylinder, this would be 2 times pi times r, because that would be circumference. So this isn't quite, ah, this isn't quite circumference, because it's not, there's not two of those, there's only one of those. Okay? So let's put that into practice with a couple examples. All right, first of all, let's look at uh, this shape right here. We have, name the, name the pyramid here, this is a rectangular pyramid. So the area of my base is just 2 times 4 times, I'm sorry, 2.4 times 2.4. That's base times the height of the base, okay? 2.4 is 5.76. Now, since this is a uh, regular, py regular pyramid, I don't have to worry about different measurements here because I know the lateral face is three. Okay, that's the slant height. So if it's a, if it's a triangle, I'm going to do three. I'm going to do the base times height divided by two. Three times base is 2.4 divided by two. And think about how many of those I have. Since it's a rectangular pyramid, I have four of those triangles. Okay. Now be careful on your quick check because I think I gave you one where these measurements are not the same. So basically what you would have, you would have two triangles with this area and then two triangles with this area. So you'd have a separate line of work. One that would have this base and height and one that would have a different base and height. Okay. Be careful on that. But since this one's regular, this works out. This works out very nicely. So let's punch this in the calculator. 3 times 2.4 divided by 2 is 3.6. So 
So we have 3.6 is the area of one of those triangles, but there are four of them. In some cases, it's only two of them. We're going to take 3.6 times 4. And that gives me 14.4 is the area of that. So to put it all together then, the surface area for this pyramid is 5.76 plus 14.4, which equals, well, let's call it 20.16 or 20.2 feet squared. Okay? Next, we have a cone. Which means we have to use our special formula here. Well, the base is easy, so let's start with the base. Base is pi r squared. Pi times 3 squared. So 9 times pi equals 28 point, let's round that to 28.3. Now, remember our formula for the, the lateral face here is pi times radius times the slant height. So, pi times radius is 3, slant height is 6, so that's going to be 18 times pi. Fifty-six point five. So, last step, surface area equals twenty-eight point three plus fifty-six point five. You notice for all the surface areas, the last step is always just adding up all the faces. Eighty-four point eight. centimeters squared. And that's it.